Hello everybody, today we are back with the final part of our um, 111 item box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deacons, and it's linked below. Alright, this is the final part. Um, I thought it was going to be a six-part series, and then I did a big box, and it got down to five. So now, we are in the home stretch. This is the final part of a 111 inventory box. Uh, my wife got it from Fashion Without Trashing. Um, she occasionally sells these via via her Instagram. Um, so this box was, I believe, 600 around $600 in total. So every item is a little under $6 per item. Um, so far, it's been a pretty good box. Um, it has had a lot of men's clothes in it, which um, we haven't really sold a lot of. Fortunately, a lot of the men's clothes are my size, so if we don't sell them, I'll just have a really nice new wardrobe. All right. So... We're in the final part of the box, so we're kind of looking at some of the odds and ends. Up first is this Super Bowl championship um, hat. Now this is from Super Bowl, let me see if I remember my um, Roman numerals. That's 46, 46 XL, so that'd be 10 before 50, and then one after, yeah, so 46. Um, now it's, it's a one size fits all hat. It's not new with tags. Um, it does have, still have the, uh, official NFL sticker on it. Now, one thing though, is the lettering on the, um, New York is peeling off right there. So I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, I'm not really a, uh, I'm not really a New York fan, so I don't think I'll keep this. Um, it might end up getting redonated. Who knows? We haven't sold any hats like this, so. I'll just, um, in the tradition of what I always do with the hats when we get them, I'll wear it for the rest of the video, and then it'll probably go somewhere. All right, up next is this tickled pink, um, I guess headband ear warmer, and um, there actually was two of these in the box, and my wife did already decide that she was just going to keep one, um, keep her ears warm and still allow her hair to flow beautifully like it does. Um, this is 100% polyester. Uh, it's another one size, so mm, nice little head warmer. I don't know it, how that'll do. We haven't sold any of those in our closet. We haven't listed any of those in our closet. And the last little odds and ends thing, well, maybe not, is this um, set of hand warmers. Now, these are from Duluth Trading Company. Um, they're knit hand warmers, so they're basically just fingerless gloves uh, or like completely fingerless gloves, not even the little wraps around the individual fingers. So, there we go. All right. Now, one more thing, then we get into the regular clothes. There was a pair of Steve Madden shoes. Um, now, these are uh, size 7. They are leather with a rubber sole and fabric lining um so and there you can see there you can see there steve madden on the inside now steve maddens have done pretty good for us um as far as like shoes go um and these seem like they're in good condition so i definitely think we won't have a problem selling these all right okay now let's go through the big stuff first up first, we found this APC um, size 40 brown jacket. Now this has the um, this has the double buttons. Although these buttons on this side are fake, these are real. And then on the inside, there is one additional button that kind of goes the other way um, to keep the whole thing together. Um, but it's this nice corduroy material, and yeah, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> it's this nice corduroy material. Um, and it does have the extra like padding on the shoulders to keep your um, keep your shoulders dry in the rain. Um, 
again, we haven't really sold a lot of jackets, so I don't know how well that will do, but it is in good condition, and um, it is in good condition, and it is a nice jacket. I don't know that brand, if it's a really excellent brand or not. And up next we have a, let me see if I can find the tag on this, it's probably, oh, there it is. This is a Uniqlo, Uni, Q-L-O, Uniqlo, I don't know, Q-L, how do, how, do, how do you pronounce that? Um, anyway, this is a, um, this is kind of a slick, uh, slick material, definitely uh, almost like a rain jacket. Um, it does have uh, buttons and zippers and all kinds of drawstrings, so you can tighten it around the waist, you can tighten up the hood. Um, the buttons do go up quite a way, so you can, you can keep your neck your neck dry. So really nice rain jacket, um, pretty much all plain black. Now I don't know if it's a men's or a women's jacket, uh, it's probably unisex. Um, so I don't know, again with, um, with jackets, with coats, we haven't really sold a lot of them. So. I don't know how well it'll do, but it's another nice one, and uh, that uh, Uniquil is a brand that seems to do pretty well for us. All right, what's next? Up next, we have this pair of J. Crew pants. Now, I believe these are men's pants because they do list the size as a length and waist, um, or uh, waist and length. Uh, so they are 36 waist and a 30 um, length. So these would be these would be way too way too big for me. Um, but they are a nice pair of pants. I didn't see any flaws in them, so they, maybe they'll sell, I don't know, um, men's clothing. Haven't really done enough of it to, uh, to know how well any particular thing does. Okay. Up next, we have a, this is a, DKYN large white top um, and this is I mean, need to look at the material this feels like it might be might be a silk or at least some silk um, let's see if I can find it there probably polyester yep 100% polyester so it's that silky polyester that always fools me still um, anyway it is a plain white button shirt it does have a, a liner on the inside um, and kind of a, a softer polyester on the outside. And it does have some buttons on the sleeves. You can roll the sleeves up and button them up if you need to uh, work outside or if you need to wear it in slightly warmer weather. So this should do, this should do all right. Okay. Up next we have a, what does it say, Charlie Jade medium top. Um, I guess this would be a mini dress. Now it does have this, um, it does have this built in belt right. Oh, uh, that's not built in. So there are two. Yeah. Yeah. There's the loop on the other side. So there's, it does come with a belt, uh, just a tie, really not really, a, not so much a belt, but just a tie to wrap around. I'm just trying to get it through there. There we go. And it does have one pocket in the front. It's just an open pocket. Okay. Um, and it's got that nice flower pattern, kind of like a, almost like a bandana pattern. Um, not quite though. Is that flowers? No, those aren't flowers. Those are something else. Okay. That wild pattern. I'm sure there's a name for all of these patterns. I just normally go flowers or not flowers. <laughs> okay, up next we have a J. Crew V-necked sweater. Now this, um, it's a small, but I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. Um, it looks like it might be a men's, and it looks like it might be a little bit big to be a small, so maybe maybe if it doesn't sell i'll keep it i don't know um i'm right i mean i do have some sweaters like this so it looks 
that'll probably that will probably sell um, once it gets a little bit colder out. A lot of these um a lot of these sweaters, a lot of these long sleeve stuff, we're not going to know how well they do until it gets into fall. All right. Up next we have a dress, a very sparkly dress. This is a Adriana Ponell. This is a lovely little dress. Um, it's not strapless. It does have these um, little thin spaghetti straps. Um, and the top is sparkly with this long flowing um, lacy, well, not lacy, uh, it's a long flowing bottom. Um, now, this to me, it screams. It screams bridesmaid's dress. Um, it's, or maybe like a, maybe a, not quite a prom dress, because prom dresses normally have more frills in them. This, it's, it's something simple, and it's, it's long. Yeah, it's, it screams like it's a bridesmaid's dress, um, so maybe that's what it is. Um, I don't know, but it's not, it's not too wedding-y, so it's something that could be worn at a non-wedding, <laughs> even if it is bridesmaid's dress. All right. Up next, we have another Uniquil. This is a medium um, black and white, uh, kind of knitted sweat, knitted uh, short sleeve sweater. I don't know. Um, we'll just call it a shirt, um, knitted shirt. And you can see it's black and white. It does have some. Um, does have some spots where the stitching goes uh, to break up the pattern a little bit uh, but other than that it's same on the front and back so this piece is a little bit heavier um, but because it's a little bit because it's shorter sleeves probably something for fall as opposed to uh, winter but definitely um, definitely something that should go well once it gets a little bit colder out all right up next we have a Club Monaco Slim Fit Medium Men's Shirt, another one. Now this is a, um, I guess you'd call that, it's a dark purple, but like a burgundy almost. Now, I didn't know this until I looked at the, um, I was looking at the uh, material tag in here, but I didn't know that Club Monaco was a J. Crew. I believe it said, yeah, or no, 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 a Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, so I guess that explains it because the slim fit Ralph Lauren's fit me well and the Club Monaco, um, also fit about the same and that's why. Now this is a button down shirt because it does have the buttons around the collar, um, and it does collect, uh, just this material collects all the fuzz from the other shirts, so um, it's definitely something we'll have to, uh, yeah. I might need to reshoot. I'll, have to, I'll look at the pictures and see how much of that showed up. Um, holding it up close, I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of fuzz on the arms. Maybe that didn't show up in the pictures, and it'll be fine. I don't know, it's not really showing up on the camera too bad, so it might be okay. We'll definitely roll it before we ship it out. Um, we don't want to send anyone like a bunch of fuzz from other shirts. All right, up next is a Dub Gee, uh, extra large. Um, and this is a white, uh, would you call that a dress or a tunic? I think this is a, probably a tunic, officially. Um, oh, it does have pockets has pockets it has the short sleeves that probably come down right to about just past the elbow and it is a nice breezy shirt so something that'd be great for um, something that'll be great for summer um, something something that we'll want to get listed right away okay up next we have a new with tags this is a Lindsay Roscoe um, and we'll just call that a piece of sleepwear. Um, night, maybe a nightgown. Um, well, let's see if it uh, says on the tag. It is from Nordstrom. Um, mink. Huh. 
Well, let's see if it says in the actual tags. Uh, it's uh, far west. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to call it a nightgown. It looks like a nightgown. And it has that nice um, peach color adjustable straps, which uh, do come in handy with the mannequin because I normally have to tighten it up a lot just because, uh, s well, plastic doesn't grip the fabric quite as well as skin does, so then things tend to slide off where they would just kind of hang, um, hang on on a person. Okay, up next we have a, I believe this is a free people, yes, this is a free people, um, mini tank top. Uh, so this is a extra small, um, is it, yeah, extra small slash small, um, and it, so it, it fit right on the mannequin, it was a little tight, but, um, this particular piece does have a lot of stretch to it, um, which is probably why they listed two sizes. So it slid right on the mannequin, hugged it really tight, and, uh, yeah. So, Free People is one of those brands that has done very, very well for us. It's probably our, the brand that we do the most sales with. Um, and these um, those last couple of uh, reseller boxes we've had have had a lot of Free People in them. So maybe that's why it's doing so well for us. We're just listing a lot more of it. Okay, up next is an H&M. This is a European 44, US 12, Canada 12, CN. What is CN? Uh, don't know what CN is. Uh, it's a 174. 175 in CN. It is a Mexican 12. It is made in China, and it is a black, um, a black shirt. I guess uh, you know we'll call it another tunic. Um, the only thing unique about it is this um, is these flower pattern um, at the end of each sleeve. Other than that, it is plain black, and it does have the uh, one hook or one yeah one button in the back. Um, so you can get your head through that neck hole and then button it up. All right. We are almost done here. We have one, two pieces left. Okay. Up next, we have a, another H&M. This is a European medium, U.S. medium, Can Canada medium, CN. I don't know what that is. 170 and a Mexican medium. And this is another H&M. This is an H&M sweater, a knitted sweater. Um, so this is just a really nice sweater, a uh, nice shade of blue. Um, really not a whole lot to say about it other than it's nice, it's soft, it's warm, and it will do, it should do great once we get into the winter. Um, we'll see how the H&M brands do. We'll see how this H&M brand does once it gets to winter. H&M brand. Hmm. And the last piece is a... Zara, size 11 to 12, um, plaid shirt. Uh, now this does have the, this is pretty nice. It has these um, kind of ridges, vertical ridges um, in the front up by the shoulders. It has these uh, ruffles that go around the shoulders. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, we'll, we'll say plaid. It's not quite plaid, but we'll say it is anyway. I'll stick to my initial assessment. Um, but Zara is another brand that's done really well for us, so I don't think we'll have any problem selling this one. And it is um, not quite full-length uh, sleeves, mm, so they go probably down to about the forearm. Uh, so it's probably something that could be worn in fall, which um, will be coming up before before we know it. I mean, we're... We're in, we're in June right now as I'm recording this, but um, time just seems to go by really quickly. And that's going to do it. Um, so this last part of the box had a lot of ins and outs, um, odds and ends, ins and outs. It had a lot of stuff um, that really we don't actually look at the camera, not the screen. It had a lot of uh, stuff that we haven't really sold before. Um, so we'll see how that stuff does. Um, if it, if it does well, maybe we'll have a new, um, new area our class can branch into. Um, if it doesn't, um, we didn't get a, little, get a whole lot of it. It can be redonated or something. Uh, but the actual, the regular clothing and the shoes, all pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of, 
you know, I really like the Zara. Um, I really like the, I really like the Free People. Those are just um, two brands that have done very well for us. Now the, uh, some of the other brands I haven't heard of, but the clothing quality seems pretty good, and some of the stuff's new with tags, so that always helps to sell. Um, overall, I think this box was um, fairly good. I think that maybe there was a little bit of padding with some of like the like the hats and the hand warmers, um, but overall, um, at about six bucks, a little under six bucks an item. Um, it's definitely stuff we're gonna we're gonna turn a profit on. And the last box we got from um, the last box we got from this person, we were we've already um, we finished listing it about a month and a half ago. And we've already sold enough to where we paid for the box, and now everything we sell out of that box is just pure profit. Um, so it's turning out pretty good for us. Um, so we'll get we'll get this stuff listed, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I think it's I think it's going to do well. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. All that stuff's below. And then after you subscribe, go ahead and hit the bell, and you'll be notified of when I post new videos, which is normally every Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, with Wednesday being a what sold video. Uh, okay, I got really excited about that. Anyway, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.